that's okay. We're going to move on to this next team. We're going to start off into game number one. Let's see what stage we're going to be starting off at. Now, we've, we've been watching these guys play earlier, right? Been seeing a lot of Snake, a lot of Pikachu. Obviously, Pelka being known for the Snake. He, he, my man's been playing a lot. He did. He was like actually uh, kind of popped off a little bit during uh, Pound, if I remember. That was like yeah. one of his first like breakout performances on Ultimate on a major scale. But back when that was like the you know the the invaders of Snakes, if you will. <laughs> No, the, that tournament really showed just the powerful, the how powerful Snake actually is as a character. And Poker was one of those mainstays that really showed how well that character can work. And he's showing it off right here also. Now, the the really questionable thing about Snake in dubs is you got you you as a partner for Snake have to watch out now not only for your partner, but what they're placing down on the ground. Everything little like every little thing now becomes a little hazard for you, and you got to really subject one side of the stage to yourself away from Snake to avoid any mishaps right there. It's, and oh, oh my, my god. god, you saw the mishaps happening all over the place there. Everyone's just falling left and right. And again, I, I talk about this a lot in doubles. Is that like the second someone gets punished for like a kill, someone else is going to be coming right out there. It becomes Absolutely, like a chain reaction. Yeah. Everyone just goes for all the. Kills kills right afterwards. You're just punishing the Punisher, you know? Yeah, especially because you, if your opponent, if your partner is uh, in an unsafe position off stage, you want to go over to help them as fast as possible. Right. And if you punish, Ooh. your opponent's going to come right back and do something. And that's actually going to be a death for Beast right there. Be Beast already on his last stock. DM is oh out here with the spikes. God. That's the second one in a row. DM is on a rampage. Pikachu just catching these down airs on both sides of the stages. Now he's going up with the more, more back airs against Falco. Wow, it just keeps going off to the side. And honestly, Pikachu can afford to do that. He has such a great recovery. Catches the thunder. Oh my God. DM is bringing the heat, man. Maybe this electrical type Pokemon, but Pelka I don't has a fire in his eyes. Pelka still has all three stocks on him. The stage control of DM and Pelka has been amazing. And, Pelka, and DM, as you said, has been able to go off stage so far to just keep Juice at bay, not letting him do anything while. Pelka just destroys Beast, and right now this is such a dangerous situation for them. Juice and Beast on their last stocks at such high percents. What do you have to do in this situation? You have to take stage control back, but that up tilt just barely not killing Juice. Juice in a bad way right now. Bro, this is a mess, man. They got two stocks to five, not looking too hot right now. Pelka is not losing a single stock, and honestly, he's out here just spamming oh up my tilt God. because it works. Might as well just throw it out there, honestly. One stock against five at this point, I wouldn't even like Listen, try. I would literally like if I was like a charger or something, I'd be going flare blitz right now. Yeah. I could do literally whatever I want at this point, and that up till once again, Pelker not dropping a single stock, DM only dropping one. He just waited. He was literally just waiting for him at the edge of the stage, waiting for the roll to come in. He recognized that DM was gonna apply so much pressure against him, so he rolled in, got the up tilt, got the kill. And that is one hell of a start that you can do to that set. Absolutely, and this is like one of the teams that people thought were the favorites in Juice and Beast right now. This is their home turf. This is the, one of the best teams in Philly. And to just come in and destroy them in that first game, that says something. That says something about not only Poker and DM, but New England as a whole. Like, New England has come to play in this game, and like, Beast and Juice have a lot of adjusting to do in this game, too, now. And people talk about how New England's one of those uh, strong regions out there, because, like, when you think of, like, all the strong regions, like, in, in America, right? You know, a lot of the people like to point to Tri-State. They like to point to Florida. Japan. What, 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 yeah, J Japan, outside of America. Yeah, yeah Japan's yeah, yeah, yeah. really good. But the third region that people, I, I don't feel like they talk enough about is New England. I, I feel like New England's like, the, they have, they birth some of the like mightiest players out there, you know? They birth uh, Light, Mars coming out, you know, they're the ones like, like think of, speaking of doubles, they, you know, they, they previously won, I believe it was Pound in doubles. I think so, at, yes. About a couple months back, and so, you know, New England out here to play. So now we see Pelka and DM, like these are like uh, the players that are almost like j just as good as Light and Mars, we just don't get the opportunity to go to many of these majors as possible. So now that it's here, kind of super a little closer to New England, maybe they can come out here, put on a show for us, and, they, and that's exactly what they're accomplishing here. We're going to jump into game number two, going back to the Falco and Pokemon trainer once more. You know, just try, try again. Let's see if we can get something new going on here. Beast and Juice are up to bat. See, and we've seen a lot of crazy stuff today. We've seen, like, literally once... Beast and Juice get the advantage. When it's that 2v1 kind of spot, we see them with these jab block combos. They know what they need to do, especially Juice, the number one player in Philly. This Falco, you get hit by one up tilt, you're taking about 50, 60% damage. It's just true. And the thing right now is DM and Pelka are both just keeping a super good defensive play. But wow. That was nothing defensive nope, nope, nope. about that, man. He went in there, got the vertical combo, connected the back air off stage. And that's going to be uh, Juice putting a point on the board, man. And this is what they need to do. Wow. The sticky up, right? Actually, on Beast right there. Now Juice trying to just survive until Beast can come back down. Good way. 
Got to take out Pelka on the side, though, camping with that Nikita right there. That Flare Blitz is going to be the key right there, all the way from our other side of the stage right now. And honestly, you can throw that out in doubles like Absolutely. this. Absolutely. You throw it out there, it'll catch someone, maybe even your teammate, who knows, you know, in this... Maybe there's, multiple. There's a kerfuffle of a match we got going on with four players. Again, DM going to be able to use the Thunder off stage. Going to be a very strong tactic. Wait on, hold on a second. Back throw into another punish. You're going to die for that kill, man. That's what you were talking about earlier. You, the second you target someone and the second you have that possible kill, another player is going to come right in and punish you for that punish. The Punisher brought to you by Marvel Comics. <laughs> and right now, Juice sent to the other side of the stage. Beast actually doing a good job of controlling DM right now, but Juice in a bad way against Pelka right now. DM coming over and getting that confirm off the down throw with that dash attack right here. Yeah, because if you recognize the Pelka almost had about that 160% sweet spot to connect that up tilt for free, but DM recognized that he wasn't able to get it that 100% guaranteed, so he just went in there, got the dash attack, he did it for free, and now he's connecting all these attacks on the left side of the stage. Right now, Beast focusing on DM while Juice focusing on Pelka right now. This is actually a very close game compared to what we saw in the last game. These adjustments made by Beast and Juice have actually worked their wonders right here. But the score is still tied. Three stocks apiece. Like whoever gets this next stock is going to be incredibly crucial for the rest of this set. There we go. Snake's going to be able to use his big boy status. Be able to get back onto the stitch. Connects another up till we have a shared stock coming in. Beast spawning in, looking for the up smash. He's Charizard also heavy hitter. Could easily get this kill. Looking for this up smash. Super important that he connects it. They want to get rid of Down Pelka smash? right now. Yep, Pelka finally on his last stock, and DM also on his last stock. So if you get rid of DM right now, you become you get into that two v one situation, which we've seen Beast and Juice strive in today. And Pelka just pushed him off him. Get off my teammate, man! I'm coming in to save the day. It's my pet Pikachu, man. Detective Pikachu just came out. He's got to help him out. One twenty four percent. Can he get back down to the stage? Side B on the ledge. Okay, here we go. Still finding these openings. Down smash. Good answer from DM. He dash attacked the shield, went for the down smash right afterwards. Is looking to try to get this edge guard against Beast. Can he find the mark? Back air, very safe option. Add a shield. The Beast is just struggling. Out. Wow. That's going to be hard. Juice is out of the fight. Beast has got to find this kill right here, oh, right now. Sticky Pikachu. St sticky DM. There it is. Yep. That's all you got to do. And that's exactly why Snake and Pikachu could be such a great team. And Pikachu is such a good asset for Snake. He can put that uh, C4 on Pikachu and he's so quick with quick it's attack. A, yeah. it, you just, just so quick. get in there, snap it onto the opponent, and then they're they're done. And especially in a 2v1 situation. Like, that wasn't even a contest once they sticky Pikachu. Yeah, and then even then, even if they don't get it on like the first attempt, he has like, what, 30 seconds mm. to just try it again and again? Try and pressure him a little more, All get him out of that time shield situation? Involved. It's so difficult to get around. And right now, Pelka and his partner just destroying right now. Pelkin and DM are just on a roll in this 2-0 situation right now. You know, Snakes would actually, uh, they wish they could just put the C4 on their chest. <laughs> That's like one of the things. Can you imagine if you could just do that? That would, no. Just go, I no, would I'm just going to put this on my chest. And then they just throw run, run into their opponent. That's, that's, the that's what they actually want. That's, that's the truth. That's the edgiest thing I've heard all day. <laughs> I mean, that, it, it would be really good for it. That would be broken. But here we go. Jumping into game three. A 2-0 lead for DM and Pelka. So they're going to try to carry this into a 3-0 victory and carry their way into grand finals or Beast and Juice have some more uh, gas left in the tank. And right now, Juice doing a really good job of just keeping DM in the air, not letting him land at all right here. But DM coming right back with these forward throws. And Beast finally able to find a way around Pelka and slowly getting Pelka off stage. But now the switch up to no avail. Pelka just coming right back into control against Juice now. And Beast is getting a lot of mileage off of this Ivysaur. But hold on a second, got that. He tried to attack it with the Nair. Not going to die to the uh, Nikita missile just yet. We have an input error, managed to get back on the stage. No one was there to try to capitalize. They were too focused on Juice. Oh, that up tilt once yeah. again, just so crucial. That sweet spot is so huge now that it's just so deadly. How do you think Snake reaches his legs up there like that? that that's impressive. That's some yoga stuff right yeah. there. Oh, nice catch from DM. Catches Charizard out of bugs. Goes God. in for the somersault dash attack, just a quick first only, option. But only he kills his partner. Yeah, he killed his teammate in the process. Yeah, so. not even Juice. Only his partner. Yeah, well, yeah, you gotta look out for that. No. Dropping a grenade in the middle of the stage, nothing following up with it, but Juice on a far angle all the way out. DM going deep for that thunder, but to no avail. He's running back in, C4 on the ground. And honestly, blue team has a little bit of stage control going on here, right? They're, they're trying to find their way back down now. They're, they're trading back and forth. There we go. Both off stage are going for their respective edge guards. Back air, nice answer for the ledge attack. Ledge attack being one of the, the more dangerous options to go for on the ledge. 
Absolutely. Back throw coming out. Sending Beast to the other side. Now really separating the two. They're keeping it. They're trying to keep it out of one v one. Keep the keep red team away from each other as much as possible. Especially when they have them on the advantage. You know, yeah. like when they're when they're both off stage, it, it, they can just play around with that. Okay, there we go. Get it back here from Falco with you know Juice finding it against Snake. Beast on his last stock at one sixty eight already. This is a super dangerous situation. Juice now, still has one more stock to actually let go. But at 59%, like, it's a super dangerous situation. And, and this uh, is winner's finals. Yeah. Like, if you, if you told me otherwise, I'd be like, yeah, this, this, like, this is it? Like, a 3-0 almost? Like, a pretty clean 3-0. That game, too, was close. But right now, they have a firm lead right now. They got to bring something back together. Beast is in a tight spot. He's on the ledge of such high percent. He turned the wow. tables on him. But then Pikachu from DM was right there in the heat of the moment. Good pickup from Beast. He spawned with Charizard. Got the snake kill, got the uppie, got him off the top of the stage. Two stocks to three. Still incredibly doable. They got to get rid of DM. Yes, but Juice at 115 right now. Wow. There was a grenade. Explosions all a, over the place. And we this got the snake you, on board. Yeah, this is the thing you got to keep track of with snake and doubles. It can be so deadly to not only your opponent, but your partner as well. You got to keep track of every little thing that moves on the screen. Now, Juice has got to stay back. He's at 115%. He's got to let Pokemon Trainer from Beast, you know, just take a majority of that action. He's got Ivysaur ready to go. You see Blue Team starting to focus Ivysaur, actually. Yeah, I would too at this point, especially with Juice being so high. And right there, actually, Juice is gone. There and that it is. Air. Yep. They just fell it. like dominoes, man. He just sent Charizard for off flying or Ivysaur, wh whichever Pokemon Red had out at the moment. Then Pikachu found the finishing blow. Gonna move on into Grand Finals, and honestly, I don't think they even broke a sweat. Like it, it like they, they just like that was just. No, game that, two was kind of close, but yes, like, games exactly. one was destruction, and games three was like, okay, we're ready for Grand Finals. We're ready to sit. They were doing so well on the actual punishes of Beast and Juice themselves. The second that they would even get a slight advantage, mm. they would be there would be something to punish them. And you said he. Uh, best yourself. As soon as they got the advantage, they would try and separate them as much as possible to keep any team synergy away from each other. They're pressing one each other off of stage, and it just worked to their advantage. So yeah, 